It was really weird for me the first time I experienced it was survivor's guilt. And I experienced it. It's going to be a year. I, I lost a friend to, uh, to brain cancer. And it, it, when, when, you have, when you've had cancer, you become the go-to person, the go-to cancer person in your world. People call you and ask you questions. And any little thing, they want to know, is it cancer? <laughs> and then, you know, you say, no. <laughs> and, um, but it, it's such a weird thing because like listening to these stories from people who are related to cancer through a loved one um, and, and how what their pain is because I, I always tell people cancer doesn't happen to the patient it happens to the family because um, it's, it's this new thing and it's it, it, I, I mean I've heard so many ways to describe it here and it's just so awesome because I identify with all of them it's like wow it is your body's being attacked and I always say it now has the home field advantage because I, I don't like to say I'm cured I'm cancer free because I you know I'm cancer free I am currently cancer free and counting but cured there's a cure for polio there is not a cure for breast cancer and that, that we need to be very clear on that and that's why we do what we do um, but uh, so my, but my friend dot my friend when I found out my friend uh, was that he was at the end that there was no more hope um, he picked up the uh, he the phone rings and I picked up and I was like I just turned five years old today because it was my cancer anniversary and I was like yeah and he's like and then he told me his news and then I felt like shit how dare I celebrate is how I felt and and my boyfriend said well he he, he didn't think you were throwing it in his face but I felt like I was throwing it in his face you know I feel like I was going nah, 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 nah. that's how I felt of course that's not what I did I didn't know what he was I didn't know what he was gonna tell me in the other end I thought he was gonna say Let, let's go to Atlantic City it, I really I thought that's what we we're gonna do and and then he tells me and it was it's just such an empty feeling because I, I think I can speak for a lot of us that if I had the choice between me and one of my loved ones, I'd be like, let me have it. I'll take it. I, I've been there, been there, done that. Let me have it. I can handle it. Blah, blah, blah. I, I would never, you just want to protect. You don't want anyone to know what we know. I don't wish this on my worst enemy. And even though it has blessed me, if I could have had these blessings any other way, I, I would take them. I would take them. So... I, Again, I'm just filled in, with awe of all of your talents. And I'm, again, so grateful to be here tonight. Um.